Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the CDC and Elk Hair Caddis. So I'm just starting off here with a size 12 Firehole 419 hook and 70 denier ultra thread in wood duck color. So we're just going to start the thread at the eye of the hook and wind down to the bend. Now we're going to grab two or three CDC feathers. We just want to get the tips even. And then just do a couple very loose wraps here just to keep it in place while we slide the feathers back to about there. And now we do some securing wraps. Just wrap the tips all the way and then bring the thread back up near the eye of the hook. And now we're going to twist the CDC feathers together just to create a core. And this is going to be the body of the fly. We just wind this up to the eye of the hook. So right here near the butt sections of the feathers, it's going to flare out. That's what we want. It'll give it a buggy look. So now we're just going to secure this at the eye. and cut off the butt ends, just like that. Now we're gonna grab some Nature Spirit Select Cow Elk Hair, stack that. Make sure you pull out the fluff and the short hairs before you stack it. And once you've got it stacked, you just wanna place it up here. We want it to be about at the end of the hook, so that looks about perfect. Now do two very loose wraps and then tighten. Do some securing wraps and then we're just gonna check that and it looks perfect. So we're gonna grab a third of these butt ends and then do a securing wrap. The second third, same thing, and then grab all the rest. All right, and that is it for the tying. Now we're gonna whip finish. five or six turn whip finish. Perfect, and cut off the thread. Now we're gonna separate the butt ends from the tips. And this time I'm going to cut the head a little too big. I'm going to trim these off a little too long so I can show you how I trim them down. So normally I would do it a lot shorter, but this is just in case you mess up. So just want to cut it at that angle. There you go. And as you can see, that head is pretty big. So I'm going to show you how I trim this now if that ever happens. Okay, so you want to do it uh, just a little bit at a time. Just go across the entire thing, just cutting little by little. You don't want to cut too much unless you're going for a smaller head look. But as you can see, I'm just doing little by little and you want to make sure you have some nice sharp scissors for this. There we go, cut this side, cut down the middle. We're going to cut the top here, just like that, and then here by the eye of the hook. And there you go. It's a very simple yet effective pattern. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.